Chef Kevin. Fresh from the farmer's market. Hell's the target. Getting fresh. Chef Kevin. What can it get fresh? Beats the rest. Hello and welcome to Get Fresh with Chef Kevin. Here today with Dominique. Well, how have you been, Kevin? I'm doing well. And you? What did you do this week? This week I just got a little fresh air, got out. You were getting fresh? Yes, I was. <laughs> good for you. Yeah, good. Well, I did better than that. I put together my detox program. Mm -hmm. What is that about? Well, detox, you haven't heard of detox? Yes, we've heard of detox. Everybody has, right? Everybody. This is like, it's spring and people want to detox, they want to lose weight, they want to do, uh, all, they are buying all these products. Uh, it's all over the place. Yeah. A lot of people are detoxing and talking about detox. Uh, my neighbor was one, she bought a bunch of products. It cost her about three or four hundred dollars. Yep. Um, so, is a detox, is that exactly what we need to do? Spend three or four hundred dollars detox? <laughs> no. A lot of people are buying these products uh, on the web. Indeed, they are very expensive, but that's not the real problem. The problem is a lot of them are unsafe. They, ha they can have some serious adverse effects that can make you sick for even months. I had a client who bought one of those products on the web and it contained an ingredient she had a reaction to. She ended up in the emergency room. That's not good. Yeah, because her blood pressure dropped way down. It took me about three weeks uh, to bring it back up with, with nutrition to a healthy level. Are these products made of chemicals that are uh, unsafe? Well, not necessarily. Um, it, sometimes it's an herb or a root, um, any or any part of plant you could have a, a reaction to. So reading the labels will not really help you unless you know that you're allergic to that certain product. And uh, the reaction sometimes includes serious digestive problems, headaches, rashes. Um, so just because it's a plant, it, it, that doesn't mean it's safe. Think poison ivy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Can you give us an example of these toxic herbs? Um, sure. Uh, they can be herbs, berries, uh, mushrooms. One that is often used in cleansing products is called, uh, are you ready? Shijandra plant. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a Chinese name. I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing it properly. Um, the adverse effects include gastric distress uh, with a burning sensation, uh, fever, uh, it stimulates also the respiratory system and it causes uh, the blood pressure to drop to a dangerous low. So okay. you gotta be really careful with these products. So are these products, uh, are there any products that you recommend for a safe detox? For detox? Because uh, there's a lot out there. I mean, choosing the right one. Yes, but I will give you my secret. Okay, let's do that. Welcome to Dominique's Pharmacy. There, they, here they are. All right. Um, or just, it's just food? Uh, yes, that's right. Because products or food, they don't detoxify. They don't? Nope. Only the liver and the kidneys are in charge of the detoxification. So these are the two organs in the body that are in charge of disposing of waste and keeping the body healthy and free of harmful substances. So my yoga instructor make us do this pose. How do I look? Great. And she calls it a detox pose. The detox pose, okay. That does not do anything. Mm -hmm. it, right. Just because uh, wringing the kidneys does not, because when you do this, you wring, it's, it gives the impression that you're wringing your kidneys. Mm -hmm. That doesn't detoxify. So we'll, we're getting ready to take a break, but thanks for getting fresh with us. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Are you getting this, honey? Oh, prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> Mama's gonna bring it home. Mama's okay. gonna bring it home. Okay. Okay. Come on. Watch this guy. Oh, oh backwards. Oh. Don't. Oh. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh. No? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. All right. Let's see what you can do. Let's go. They might surprise you. Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna make some juice. It's gonna be good. She's excited. A little bit of kale. Please don't put this on. I'm putting it all over the line. It's wet. It needs something. No, it'll go. Don't break my juicer. Looks good. You ready to try it? Come on, baby. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. 
It's okay. Okay, all right. They might surprise you. I actually took another sip. You saw it? Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. Hello, and welcome back to Getting Fresh with Chef Kevin. So, Dominica, so if I understand this properly, the liver and the kidneys are doing the detox all the time, regardless yes. of what you eat. Mm -hmm. That's correct, except some foods overwork the kidney and the liver. Okay, so in this case, why do we need a detox program? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. When This is how it works. When the liver is overwhelmed or burned out by too much uh, toxins, such as medication, smoking, mm -hmm. a high protein, high fat diet, um, or just, you know, things that are not easy for the liver to deal with, then the liver can't do its job and it gets sluggish and slow. Um, the result is a fatty liver, fatigue, some people get gallstones, oh, um, because the liver cannot produce healthy bile, you can't digest. So, and if your liver produces bile that is too thick, that's called biliary sludge, isn't that nice? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Biliary sludge. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was in France uh -huh. and I looked at someone's uh, medical records uh -huh. and it said, do you know how they say sludge in French? No. How I, I want to teach you this, sludge Kevin. Sludge. Sludge. There, there you go. Uh, so, uh, how, can the, how can these foods help them? Well, that is exactly what a detox does. Um, have you heard of co the, the term coenzymes or cofactors? I have heard of them. But I don't really understand them. Could you? Yeah, most most people don't because now we're getting into biochemistry. We have all these cycles and the enzymes inside our bodies, and the enzymes use vitamins and minerals as cofactors or helpers, as you will. So what we do with the detox is we remove the foods that burden the liver and we give it to the foods that are very rich in nutrients, we call that nutrient-dense foods, right. that have these vitamins and these minerals, minerals, not minerals, and now these enzymes are getting their cofactors, but they are not busy dealing with billion sludge, <laughs> or sludge. toxins, or they're not burdened. So they start turning and turning like little factories, and then the liver can do its job and detoxify and Get, and we can be healthy and digest properly and absorb our nutrition. We all uh, need nutrients. a healthy liver. We all need a healthy liver. Uh, the, I can <laughs> tell you, um, I have the, uh, I have, <laughs> I've seen people with uh, liver disease. That is one of the worst thing you can have is a liver that malfunctions. There is nothing. I don't know. The, the, all organs in the body are important, but the liver is a little factor. It's the yeah. chemist. Yes. Yeah. So, do we need to take uh, supplements as well when we detox? Not really, uh, because there's a lot of stuff out there. Yes. Well, where do you choose? Right. There's a lot of products, lots of vitamins, lots of potions, Protein, oils. Shakes. And yeah. Um, you don't need any of that during a detox. All you need to do uh, is relax and um, all we want is for the body to start releasing toxic compounds it's been holding to. Once the detox is gone, is done, okay. <laughs> once you're finished with the detox, then we can start the repair process by eating um, a healthy diet uh, like we do on getting I'm fresh <laughs> and maybe take some vitamins if they are necessary. So how long should a detox last and how often should one do it? That's a very good question. Uh, it depends what type of detox you're doing. Now, you take all those products that are on the web, all those shakes, all those pills, throw them away. Those little potions? Trash those. The little, those things. Yeah, the, they are not doing the anything. The little infomercials? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know what they call people who buy those? Yeah, I have a name for them. But. <laughs> Something polite. <laughs> Income generators. Income generators. So, yeah. Kevin, do not become an income generator. That's not me. <laughs> to, a, to a big company. Well, uh, to answer your question, there are several ways um, uh, to detoxify the body. The absolute best detoxification you can do is a water fast. You let that water wash over your cells. Uh, you drink only um, a filtered water. And the length of time is determined by your needs. Uh, your um, your weight because if you are very thin you can't fast for very long so there is a um, that's what's used as a gauge um, so this type of detox though has to be supervised by a physician okay that makes sense yeah, yeah. don't do this at home <laughs> all right good, good. <laughs> um, you mean just water nothing else uh, 
and get tired, you get faint, you get low, low blood pressure? Uh, well, happens? that's why it's supervised by a physician. Uh, but yes, you drink only water. And actually what's happening is you go into a term very um, uh, uh, en vogue these days. You um, go into... En <laughs> um, vogue. En vogue. Yes, means <laughs> à la mode. Oh, it's in all the magazines. Um, it's uh, you go into ketosis. Okay, yeah, I've, now I've heard of that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We don't want that to happen. Uh, yeah. Well, you do during the detox, detox because yeah. you break down fat that produces ketones and your body feeds on that. The brain actually can feed on ketones. Okay. And then you, you feel good, you don't feel hungry. I mean, you can't do uh, extraneous work, but you don't feel ravenously hungry and you can function. But after a few days, then you start going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, but, you miss chewing, actually. That's the interesting part. Uh, but you lose a lot of weight. You do lose lots of weight, yes. Uh, lots of people do it for weight loss, uh, but most people do it uh, mainly for uh, health reasons. Okay. So you're going to lose a lot of weight when you do this? Uh, yes, you do. Um, most importantly, you lose muscle. Uh, but if you exercise after the, uh, the water fast, you will get your muscles back. Yeah, you can build muscle. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the, now, the next good detox is a juice fast. And this can be done in a week, uh, 10 days. Uh, it's actually safe to do at home by yourself. The um, important thing when you do juice fast is you want to do it with fresh ingredients. You want to use your own juicer. Do not buy the commercial juices. The commercial juices... Uh, a lot of can, sugar. Yes, they have lots <laughs> of sugar added. <laughs> lots of sugar. sugar. But also, even though they have these really beautiful bottles and they tell you they are all fresh and organic, they can be organic. The problem is the nutrients have uh, Ha, have gone a chemical transition, uh, a chemical a reaction uh, because of pasteurization. So they are no longer uh, they are no longer good. You know, you're getting you're paying lots of money for that product. Right, I understand um, that. I did a juice fast once. Um, I'm a very bad faster, by the way. Uh, I was feeding the cats, and I was tempted to take a taste. <laughs> this is how much you miss chewing. You're talking about cat food. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm really, really bad at fasting. So we'll be right back. We're going to do a a juice. Mm -hmm. uh, Not a juice. We're doing a smoothie. A smoothie. <laughs> when we come back. So thank you for getting fresh with us. We'll be right back. Did you check? Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk. It may never be this easy to help your kids find balance, but you have more power than you know. For a free Parents Handbook plus other resources, visit the WeCan website. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. All right, welcome back to Get Fresh. We're going to work on our first recipe here, Dominique. Yes, and this is a recipe I created. It's called Kiwi Mania because it has lots of kiwis. Um, and kiwis are actually higher in vitamin C than oranges or, or any citrus. Uh, they have a substantial amount. So I recommend you uh, use kiwi regularly in your diet because they're high in fiber, uh, they're uh, high in vitamin C, uh, they're also um, have a little bit of iron. They're really good for you. Okay, um, let's, just, let's just go over the ingredients. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have almonds. Yes. We use almonds because they are a good source of protein, fiber, but the important thing about almonds, they are very high in vitamin E, that is a very important um, antioxidant. A basil? Yes, uh, basil, always herbs when you are detoxifying because okay. again, they are rich in vitamins and minerals um, and they provide you with uh, lots of antioxidants. 
Great. Uh, we also have some apple here. Yes. Now the apple has a type of fiber called what? See if you remember what your grandma taught you. It has pectin. Yeah, That's pectin. what you put in jam. Yes. <laughs> here we have our. That was a uh, trick question. We have our greens too. Yeah. I know those. So the apple actually, we are just using it to make the smoothie fluffy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So and then we add greens. Of course, greens are powerhouse uh, of nutrients. We have everything in there: vitamins, minerals, fiber, and their accidents. Um, and is then, this milk? Oh well, what do you mean by milk? Two percent? <laughs> Not with me. Ah, okay. uh, no, we don't use dairy because dairy causes inflammation. When you are detoxifying, that is another uh, protein casein, which actually the body, the human body doesn't digest very well. So we remove all dairy. We okay. tend to remove meat as well, again, because it's a high protein, high fat product, and it overworks the liver. So this is actually almond milk. All right. So we're going to, let's add the almonds first. Almonds first. So it's easier that way. All right. Uh, and then the milk. Okay. And now I want to show you um, two types Where of proteins. These are protein powders. Now these are not the same as detox shakes. We add protein to slow down the digestion of the sugars in the smoothie. So this one um, is actually, uh, you see it's dark green, mm -hmm. it's raw. Uh, and anything that's raw is usually pure. Uh, this is made entirely um, of uh, plant, uh, plant protein, uh, peas, kale, you name it. Uh, so this is really pure, it's really good for you. Another one that you can find on the market, it's uh, rice protein, you can also use soy protein, and this is organic, and all there is, is, uh, all there is in it is the rice or the soy protein. Right, so now there are other ones that are made out of, from whey. A whey is a milk with product, product right? and we, uh, the problem with whey is you don't know where that milk came from mm -hmm. and it can have toxic compounds in it. Okay. So we try not to use whey. So we're going to use our protein. I should have used that first. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. Kiwi. Now we can use our kiwis. There you go. And you, you will need a, a powerful blender, which we have right here. So it's going to yes. really... Yes. Uh, and then we, you see the apple I just cut in four large pieces. And now we can add our basil. Mm -hmm. And I already prepared the leaves. A quarter of cup uh, st stacked is fine. You can add more if you like basil. Um, this, uh, the combination of kiwi, basil, and almonds is a wonderful flavor. Once again, we're detoxing, right? That's correct. Okay, so we so have to remember that, what we're putting about in About two cups, again, I don't measure because I've been doing this since the age of eight. So we put a large amount here of greens. Let me add some, some um, more greens here. All right. And I think we're ready to blend. All right, let's do this. All right, you turn it on first. Uh, that helps. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's a little thick. It's a little thick, so we're going to add a glass of coconut water. Okay. You can also add fresh water. So, voila. So, just a couple of um, turns and it's ready. Make sure the lid's on there. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Super. All right. Excellent. Let's give it a taste. Yeah. I'll just use this one. Isn't that color wonderful? It is wonderful. I uh, usually uh, I find that appetizing. Okay, à ta santé. Cheers. Oh, that's delicious. Isn't that great? That's delicious. The combination is amazing. Mm. So I know there's, we just made one. Mm -hmm. um, we're going we're gonna, to, we can. We should post more recipes on their website. Yeah, the recipes will be, be on, on the, the website. website. Mm -hmm. So that way. Uh, and what's the website? What's the website? Getting fresh. Gettingfresh.org. Gettingfresh.org. So. And we will be right back. Check out our website, and we'll see you after the break. All right, give me a spot. You know my motto: safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. 
it's a new model. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Every day, kids witness bullying. Why are you stabbing me with it? No, they want to help, no. but don't know how. Oh, you Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov. Hello, and welcome back to Get Fresh with Chef Kevin. You're with Dominique. We're going to work on our second smoothie. Excellent. This is making me hangry. I love fruit. This is just a tropical smoothie. Now, this is a recipe you created, so yes. you tell me about it. Uh, we have mango. Mm -hmm. We have pineapple. Okay. Uh, now with the pineapple, we actually, it's fresh pineapple, but we just stuck it in the freezer to make it cold. Uh, so we have a rice, icy cold drink. This way we don't need to add ice cubes. Right, correct. Kevin, uh, you created this recipe for me. Very nice. I love mangoes. <laughs> we have <laughs> coconut water. Okay. Our uh, bananas. And then uh, we chose the, the chia seed. Instead of almonds, we're adding the chia. Okay. Yeah, chia are also really rich in protein and fiber, um, but also omega-3. So enjoy chia seeds. And then we have some protein. We have a protein it's, shake. Yeah. No, it's a protein that, powder. That's just a, that's just a vanilla. Vanilla. It's a, it's a uh, plant-based mm -hmm. protein powder. Uh, vanilla flavored. With vanilla flavor. Excellent. Let's go. So we're pineapple. Mango. As a rule, I like to put uh, the powders first. You're going fast. Okay. Mm. A little powder. Because otherwise they'll fly all over the place. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Chia seeds. Chia seeds. Now you can add the liquids. Coconut water. Mm -hmm. and, and the banana. Banana. The banana's just gonna make it nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. The, um, I remember um, <laughs> years ago I went to uh, Bali and I was in a, in a compound in, in a resort and they didn't have any, um, any vegetables, it was all junk food. Um, so, but they did make juices and smoothies. So I lived for three days on this type of smoothie every single day. And by the third day, uh, by the third day, there was this uh, Australian journalist who was there, and he goes, there is a raw vegan restaurant over there. <laughs> and I've been starving for three days. And you missed it. I missed it, yeah. <laughs> I used to make these when I was in <coughs> playing football uh, in yeah. college, and we used ah. to, this was what we did in between breaks when we were doing our lifting workouts. And then yes. at, the end of, at the end of our workouts, we would do, we would do these smoothies, mm -hmm. and nothing really much has changed except for the price of the powders. <laughs> yes. So. That's a good one, Kevin. The, <laughs> me first, me first, okay. me first. <laughs> so here we go. Thank you. Okay, drum roll. Mm. Wow. I wish I could share this Delicious. with you, but I'm Delicious. glad I don't have to. <laughs> so, like I said, we used to do this one in between the workouts. So this, yeah, we because just you need the sugar. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. Santé. Thank you for joining us today, and thank you for getting fresh, fresh. and uh, we hope you learned all you need to know about detoxification, and now you can do your own detox at home. And these recipes will be up on our website. Gettingfresh.org. Thank you for getting fresh with Chef Kevin. Getting Fresh is about using local ingredients to make delicious meals. Getting Fresh is about healthy, nutrient-dense ingredients. Health's the target. Health's the Getting Fresh is about visiting local farms and seeing how hard they work to bring us our food. Getting Fresh is about living a healthier life. So, so how, how about, about getting, getting fresh, fresh with us?
Fresh is about healthy, nutrient-dense food. Getting Fresh is about healthy, nutrient-dense ingredients. Getting Fresh is about living a healthier life. Getting Fresh is about visiting local farms and seeing how hard they work to bring us our food. Getting Fresh is about using local ingredients to make delicious food. Getting Fresh is about using local ingredients to make delicious meals. Thank you.